Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey the Breakout. And when last we left off, Harvey stares into your soul and sees all. Let's have him look away. There we go, much better. We're still trapped in that padded cell, though we are making some headway. We have found a ventilation shaft, and we could get through there if only we could undo the screws. It's probably not going to be that difficult to get the guard to turn off the AC if we're mean to him. There were certainly quite a few options that allowed us to be very mean. But first, we need to figure out how we're going to undo those screws, and that's why we're here, tempo morphed into the past. Ten years to be exact, Harvey revealed that he's just an aspect of Edna's subconscious, but one that's going to help her remember things that she's forgotten. Like how to undo those screws. We're gonna start looking around and see if we can find anything that will help us in doing that. Starting with the firewood. We right-click with Harvey to look at things. This pile of firewood is home to a vast population of hidden arachnids. Unless the arachnids are our key to undoing screws, that's not gonna help us. It's a solid rake with a long handle. Probably good for reaching things, if we need to. Like the window, maybe? Hmm, the window is closed. I might be able to squeeze through. But I can't do it without Edna's help. It's a good thing that you're a team, eh? Let's check out that furnace. One time, Edna put firecrackers in the furnace. But there was no fire in the furnace back then. Edna's playmate Alfred was there instead. That's not a very nice thing to do. At all. Let's have a look at the other things in the room. Like this marmalade. Maybe the marmalade is the key to everything. It probably won't be, considering the fact that in the present, we don't have ready access to marmalade. Or maybe we do. This is Rosehip Thistle Marmalade. Mattis, Edna's father, got that from Grandma. Mattis stored it in the basement because it keeps the rats away. Interesting fact. Probably not helpful, but interesting. How long does oil have to sit before it congeals? I've no idea, but if we check the back of that, we'd probably find out. There's a reason these ended up in the basement. The reason is, they are of no use whatsoever. I could think of a dozen uses for cloth. Not any that would help us get out of the padded cell, but there are many uses. Empty. Fair enough. A jar full of rusty nails. We could use rusty nails, maybe. Probably not. Vermilion, Norwegian Umbra, and Chinese Gooseberry Pastel. Let's go up to this door. Now there is a keyhole, a handle, and some screws. Hmm, this is interesting. The screws keep this plate in place. I remember, it's all coming back to me. Edna was able to loosen the screws. All I have to figure out now is exactly how she did it. How did she do it? There is the question. You could open the door with it, if it wasn't locked. Which it unfortunately is. I can see the kitchen. Nobody there. And the key isn't in the lock. Handy. Let's get out of here and see about what we can do if we control Edna. Can she look at things and give us a different description? I don't want to disturb the spiders. Fair enough. What about the rake? How? How can we use that indeed? I think Harvey has to give her the memory of uh, what she would do with it. Out! Hop! That it is. Can we talk to the spiders? Please say we can talk to the spiders. Are you alright, spiders? Sure. Definitely. Yippee! Oh, we can talk to the spiders. That is amazing. Why are you hanging around? Make yourself useful. I'm not sure talking to the rake encouragingly is going to make it do anything. What about the furnace? I guess it won't answer. Yeah, that makes sense. The window was mentioned as being important. 
I can't reach it. No, you can't. Maybe if you tell it to come down, it will. That'd make it more useful. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? We're not going to get any response, I don't think. Especially considering that the window is closed. Now, maybe you can glean a use out of all of these. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Yucky, 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 yuck. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I'd rather not. I can't stand this marmalade. Plus, it might talk back. I can't even get a drop out of it. Yep, that's some pretty useless oil. All those wars in Iraq are your fault. Let's look at the cloth. Obviously, there's nothing useful on these shelves. Are you sure? Were you not granted an honorable end? This cloth is consigned to be on this shelf forever. Empty. Can we take it? Is there anybody in there? Nope, I'm completely empty. Glad to get that confirmation. Can we take it? Empty. No, we can't. Worth checking. A jar full of rusty nails. Doesn't my father keep anything useful here? Probably not by the looks of it. If you rest, you rust. Interesting phrase. Let's look at the paint last. My father planned to paint the shed ages ago. Now the paint is completely dry. Not gonna be much use for that. Hello up there. No response from the paint. Why don't we get a response from the paint and yet we get a response from the box? Inconsistencies or, more likely, probably because this is all happening in Edna's head. That's a pretty good explanation. Try not to fall into the oblivion as you check out that door. Can you remember if you look at this? The screws are keeping a panel in place. I wonder what's behind it. The kitchen is behind it. Definitely. Also, I accidentally walked away. Pressing the uh, icons down here and not pressing the walk away thing, a little bit difficult. How do I deal with you two? You could unscrew them, but easier said than done. The handle is mocking me. Well, don't stand for that. You will not hold me back, black-hearted handle. Harvey promised to get us out of here, and I trust him. Okay, I didn't expect you to actually not stand for that there. Well played. Let's see if I can make out anything. Wow, that's our old kitchen. This side alone was worth trying this temple morph thingy. Also, how can you see around the corner? Do you have special eyes that allow you to see around corners? You may do. Hello? Dad? Hmm. Nobody seems to hear me. Yes, I think there's nobody there. So we need to figure out a way to get out. And I think the window is the key. And I think Harvey right now is the key to uh, figuring this out. Can we try and see if you can do anything with the wood? Maybe we can make a fire. That should be fun. But I don't have a lighter. Well, that plan was ruined. The window? Hey, Edna, can you open the window for me, please? Even I can't reach it, Harvey. If I could, do you think I'd still be sitting down here? That's a good point. What about the furnace? Do you remember this furnace, Edna? Ah, yeah. The good old furnace. We can drag every item over, can't we? Yes, we can, including the horrible marmalade. Maybe the door will fall apart if we free the marmalade from the jar. Considering how it used to smell, that might even be a good idea. But we'd check out before the door does. Remember, though, you're made out of terry cloth. You could catch fire from the stench alone. That is some terrible marmalade. Maybe we can open the door with the oil from the can. Nice idea. But there isn't any oil. So that's not going to work. What about the useless cloth? Maybe we can use these towels? What for? A sauna club? Yeah, we're not gonna be joining one of them anytime soon. Look what's in the box! What is it? A bunch of nothing! 
Gotcha! Oh, Harvey... That you did! While you waste our time, we're still trapped in a padded cell. Remember that, Harvey. Remember that. What about the jam? Or rather, the rusty nails. Maybe these rusty nails can help us out. How do you reckon? Well, um, I wasn't completely finished with planning yet. Do you mean you haven't started the planning yet, Harvey? That's probably more accurate. If you can paint yourself into a corner, maybe we can paint ourselves a way out. Don't be ridiculous, Harvey. Not be ridiculous? Why stop now? Right. <laughs> Good point, but phrases alone are not going to get us out. This might, though. I saved this one for last because, to be fair, it is the most likely object to assist us. Can you reach the window with a rake? Hmm. This almost sounds like it could work. I could give it a try, if you let me. Right, let's give that a go, shall we? I want you to pick up the rake. Now we have it. Now let's look at it. I often used to play in the leaves with Alfred. Can we talk to it? Why are you hanging around? Make yourself useful. It's the same dialogue as before. Can we talk to... No, we can't. Let's use the rake, then on the window. Aha! Now... we've got it open. Maybe you can get through. I think you can! Um, Edna? Will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. Aha! We're out! And there's a fair amount that we can look at. That's the basement window. There's a back door. This leads back into the house. We can get back into the house using that. There's a rain barrel, and the back of the house is that way. It collects rainwater. That's handy. Let's look over here. Oh, there's somebody sitting there. The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right, hey, isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum. Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it. Curious. The plot thickens. Also, that's a lot of ice cream. I am envious of your ice cream, Alfred. I wonder what flavors those are. That's going to be vanilla, that's going to be mint. Mint is one of my favorite flavors. That's going to be strawberry. I'm going to guess that that is banana flavor, and that's toffee. I like all of those flavors. Hmm, I could go for ice cream right now. Am I dreaming? Isn't that Alfred, Dr. Marcel's son? Edna had to play with him a lot back then. He was the most obnoxious kid in the whole town. And here he is, together with Edna's father, having ice cream. Something stinks. Either there is something going on with Alfred here, or Edna's memory isn't as uh, intact as Harvey thinks it is. It seems like these two are not going to notice us, so let's just look at them. That's Mattis, Edna's father. I can't believe he's eating ice cream with that obnoxious Alfred, while at the same time, poor Edna is locked in the basement. This is the height of injustice. Yes, indeed. They're eating ice cream, and I'm not an injustice indeed. There's a newspaper here, and we can walk to it. Oh, look at these articles. Let's look at all of them. This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. Indeed. In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. That's not going to help us, though. This might, though. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed-off toenail. 
That is very interesting. If that's not a way to undo a screw, I don't know what is. Let's go back and report on our success. And the ice cream's being eaten. Now, can we go up here and look at the screws again? Hmm, this is interesting. The screws keep this plate in place. I remember, it's all coming back to me. Edna was able to loosen the screws. All I have to think. Nothing new there. But if we get you to go up and look at that, will it change now? The screws are keeping a panel in place. I wonder what's behind it. No. So we know about that, but we can't. We can't get that to be highlighted over. Can we get you out of here? Oh, I don't think we can, can we? I can't reach it. No, you can't get out there. So we are missing something here. We're missing a way to get this information over. Oh, we can probably drag it onto the uh, bar, can't we? Um, Edna? Yeah. Can we drag it onto the bar and then show it to Edna? Let's see about trying that. If we... Aha! There we go. We could also drag all of these, too. Because that would be interesting to do. And we could also drag this and that. Aha! This is how we get to show off dialogue that uh, wouldn't otherwise be available. So let's show these to Edna. Good thing I actually uh, missed out on figuring out how to solve it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got all this dialogue. There's a door leading inside from the backyard. Do you have any idea how I can get in? I don't think you can. How would you open a door? Right. I'd better keep looking around. Indeed. And that is now gone from this bar. Do you remember the rain barrel next to the back door? Vaguely. Why? Just curious. And nothing was gleaned from that. Let's talk about Alfred. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away. Mattis, your father, your own flesh and blood, is sitting together with Alfred Marcel, Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes! I can't believe it. My father prefers that sleaze bag over me? Something must be truly rotten here. Something's definitely amiss. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away. Mattis, your father is- And if they're ma- I can't- My so That dialogue is exactly the same. I decided I'd click through that quickly because it didn't seem like it was going to be any different. Two different ways of getting the same dialogue, though. That's interesting. Let's see if these articles glean any insight. I know the second one's going to, but these two might as well. I've read that a left-handed person got stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Isn't that peculiar? I think somebody's trying to make a point. I get the joke you made there. That was clever. Well played. Edna, Edna, Edna! You won't believe what's in the paper. You're finally allowed to rhyme easel and brush? Um, yes. About time. Now I can finally finish my poem about the weasel in the underbrush. I'll be very curious to see that poem, should you ever finish it. Also, I've only just noticed that you're not wearing that um, jacket right. You really should, like, pull that up a bit. Let's show Article 2. The one that's important. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again. Oh no! Not again! Last time he took three trees in our street alone. Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed off toenail. Really? Hmm. A gnawed off toenail shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? Now. We have, probably in our inventory, yep, a toenail. 
No dirt under the edge. Look for yourself. I'll take your word for it. You are a part of me, even if not the cleanest one. We're going to use this. We could use this on everything, to be fair. I don't want to waste the toenail. Good thinking. Is that going to be the same on everything? I don't want to waste the toenail. That it will be. Thought I'd just check. What about trying to rake the firewood? The rake's still good. That it is. We'll double check and see if there's any different dialogue here. No, the rake's still good. There is different dialogue. That doesn't work that way. Fair enough. Can we use it on the marmalade? Can the rake deal with the marmalade? The marmalade doesn't have to be raked. Oh wow, there's a lot of dialogue here. I can rake my oil fields later. Fair enough. If I start raking towels, I might end up in a mental asylum. You're too late. You're already there. What about the box? I don't have to use the rake there. Did I specifically click the box? I don't think I did. I don't have to use the rake there. No, I did. Thought it was worth checking. Not even raking will tidy things up here. No, it won't. I can't reach them. Anyway, they're completely useless. They certainly seem to be. Now, is there a different dialogue for the marmalade and the toenail? I don't want to waste the toenail. There's no different dialogue there. So let's go and, of course, use the rake on everything else before we do what we're meant to, because there's just so much dialogue. Locked. What else could it be? And there was that that I completely missed, which was using the handle and seeing if we could get out that way. The laws of leverage tell me... This would be a complete waste of time. Oh, but the laws of leverage. There are certain differences between a rake and a key. Only a few, though. Its primary function is to rake leaves. It's far less effective as a tool for fine mechanics. Far less effective, but not necessarily useless. I don't have to try every stupid little thing. You're wrong! You do! Because I'm telling you that you do! Although the toenail is pretty solid, I still can't use it as a lockpick. Fair enough. Let's do the thing that we're meant to. Use the toenail with the screws. I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. I can't believe it! It really did work! The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. I don't think that's how no, tempo. Not yet. No. I don't think that's how tempo morphing works, is what I was gonna say. Here we are back. No! Dang. It was all just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? Still trapped. We have Harvey One toenails as an object. Using our memory to open this up. And when we come back, that's exactly what we're going to do. At least, I hope so. I was very much right about the sheer amount of stuff that you can do in this game. All of the dialogue that we have seen just in a few screens. We've only had three or four screens. Five if you count the uh, vent one here. And all of that dialogue, it's astounding how much there is. I, I love exploring all the little bits of dialogue and everything that you can find in games like this, and that there's so much in Edna and Harvey the Breakout just makes me so happy. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to undo that grate, and then we'll have the minor problem of an active ventilation fan to deal with. Simple enough, we just need to get that turned off, and I bet there are a dozen ways we can annoy this guard to make that happen. Will there be more tempo morphing? I think it's pretty much inevitable. And will the puzzles be as easy to solve in the future as they were just now? Probably not, but such is the nature of point-and-click adventure games. And so, 
I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.